Hello guys, welcome back to a Pentestress Club. Today we are going to see how we can copy entire of the website, like a clone entire of the website and you can modify anything else. So we would like to use for this HTTP track website copier. It is a popular open source tool that allows you to download entire of the website for offline browsing. So you can download from the official website. So first we would like to come here. So you just type HTTP HTT track website copier. So you just need to download this too from here. So you can click on the download. So based on your operating system, you just need to download for Windows 10. You would like to take this and everything. So you can get it from here for website. So I already downloaded this tool here. So what first we come back here. So here, so you just uh, extract all here, yes. So we would like to install this tool now. So it will take like uh, less than uh, 10 seconds for installation. Then it was done. So it will launch now HTTP track website. So it will ask uh, prefer for language. We just click on OK. So come back here. So we can see here everything about this history. So we just uh, clear this. This also. So now we would like to come back here. So we can see everything here, it's in the local disk C, C drive in the D. So we would like to click on next and you need to specify the project name. So you just specify like uh, on the web and you just need to add your targeted website. So come back here, just close this. Just look on the web. So I would like to clone this uh, entire of the website. So you just come back here and you just copy and paste it. And you just click on the set options and you just click on the scan rules. So you need to get uh, jpg gif pngs are uh, a, more like this and zip folders are hidden in the, in the targeted website so you just need to click on these three things and just uh, mention browser id that's it so just click on ok now click on next and you just look here please adjust connection parameters if necessary and then press finish to launch the mirroring operations. So once it is done, it will launch the mirroring website. So now let's see. So it was done. We can look on browse and mirror website. So we would like to go with the Firefox. So now we can see here it is in our C folder. Okay, in my website, one novel web and uh, the domain name and index.html. That's it. So, we would like to look now. I would like to show you the source code. So, come back here. C drive, my websites here, one novel web. You can get this like index.html open with firefox that's it so you can see here warning this site host uh, international vulnerable web applications so uh, when you look here also so in the here you can also everything same clear so you try it your own guys thank you guys for watching have a great day